Abilene Rizanamami is an elderly widow who lives in central Madagascar. Now 71, she's proud of her independence. As my son is married, I don't really want to rely on him, since he himself has a family to take care of. I want to be able to look after myself, and anyway, I can still do things for myself. Abilene maintains her independence by growing a lot of rice, something she learned to do by adopting a technique called the System for Rice Intensification, or SRI. My rice field is about half a hectare. I know the field is small, but it really produces. It's because I use SRI that the yield has increased a lot. I can do as well as farmers with a hectare or two of land. The system for rice intensification was developed here in the early 1980s by Father Henry de Lourlany, a French Jesuit priest who worked with local farmers. The method relies upon the transplanting of very young seedlings, which are grown in sparsely seeded nurseries. The seedlings are transplanted individually with no tuft and set at precise spaces between each other. The method requires irrigation with a minimum quantity of water and systematic drainage. This field has been planted using the traditional method and this one on the right was planted at the same time using SRI. Recorded yields have increased from an average of 2 tonnes of paddy per hectare to 8 or even 12 tonnes with local varieties of rice. And now the knowledge is being passed on from farmer to farmer across the country and even abroad through an initiative financed by the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD. Abilene too is taking part. I'm very happy because I really profited from learning myself, so why not teach others? Now in this area, no one is using traditional methods anymore. Everyone is planting in lines today. The method appears to be catching on. Researchers from Reading University in Britain have estimated that as many as 5 million farmers across the world are now growing rice using SRI. <laughs>